Hey everyone, it's Trisha Carr. Welcome to this mini episode. And this marks phase one of a series that I'm starting with this very episode. Now this, as I said, is a mini episode of my overall channel of my overall podcast, Charmed Life with Trisha Carr. This is going to be a daily project for the next 29 days, at least 29 days, I should say. As I called it phase one, this series is about lunar phasing into synchronicity. How these are going to be working, um, I'm going to put them up as audios. Some of them, if not all of them, may be on my YouTube channel as well. Some may be video and audio, and some may be audio only. And I may sometimes just record them on my phone in order to stay up with the total phasing experience of doing it daily. I'm going to be a bit flexible, and that's why it may sometimes just be recorded on my phone. Now, I want to point out to you, if you are a regular listener, first of all, thank you so very much. And second of all, if you're interested in seeing those main episodes the, the long ones where I usually have guest experts on, or maybe it's just me teaching for about 50 minutes to an hour. The way you'll be able to find those on the feed is they will start with a number. I've started to number those episodes. For example, the most recent one that was actually published today as I'm recording this is episode number 156. So if you scroll through, whether it's on YouTube or on the podcast feed, you can see 156, and then you'll know that that demarks the full episodes of Charmed Life. Additionally, I want to tell you that if you enjoy this series, that if you join my my membership platform for my Mystic Arts Academy, there are additional... There are additional ways that you can connect with it. You can download the audios of these episodes to re-listen at any time you like. And there will be also meditations that go along with it in in addition to the classes that I teach twice per month in the um, membership Mystic Arts Academy. And so let me tell you a little bit about this project. As I called it, phase one, this is lunar phasing into synchronicity. Living in synchronicity is our birthright. Synchronism is alignment. And alignment is manifestation. The process of manifestation happens upon your full synchronization, both with your inner essence and with the outer essence. What we call the universe, maybe source energy and what I often like to call the ecosystem. The ecosystem helps me to be in that alignment experience, knowing how an ecosystem actually functions in that every part co-creates and every part supports every other part. There is balance. There is sustainable coordination with absolutely every element with every expression, every individuated piece of the ecosystem, everything is utilized for its best and highest good, with its deepest intention, its soul's purpose. Whether it's a flower or a tree or a human being, this is an ecosystem that is perfectly in balance. And so for the next 29 days, I will be phasing in synchronicity, by regarding the moon, our reflective goddess, the moon. She who offers a mirror of both the inner and outer worlds. And so we all actually live by a global lunar cycle. We know that the oceans and the waters respond to the moon and that they have a dance, a communication happening And so beyond anyone who may be skeptical who says that this is all airy-fairy, which I do not take as an insult, (laughs) we do see that in nature, this alignment is. And it is it is a society that has found itself in the awareness of misalignment that forgets this and emphasizes the illusion over the completion The illusion is the dance that we get to play in. 
while we are also in the completion. And this is, again, alignment and synchronism. And so we have this global lunar cycle, which we map by new moon, full moon, and then the four or eight subphases within it. And the moon moves through, new, through a different gate every approximately 10 hours even. And so this is our global cycle. And within that, how we respond to that global cycle is your personal cycle. You have a personal lunar cycle. And so as you may connect with this, whether you connect with all 29 days starting from this phase one day, or if you pop in just spontaneously and in truth synchronistically with one or many of the days, however it is, it, you are connecting with it. It is in alignment with your personal phase. If your heart is open to the connection of the ecosystem, then what you may experience in each or the single phase that you connect with is telling of your personal lunar phase. And so that is to say that at whatever time you listen to these phasing episodes, regardless of the calendar, you may receive the energy of alignment that you are calling in. A phase is a way to actually consciously create synchronicity. And so that's the intention here. And what I'll be doing is daily I will journal and reflect how things are perfectly synchronized. Affirm this. I'll do the journaling portion on my own. I'll do it after my morning inner communion meditation time, and then I will share it with you all. And since everyone does have their own personal phase, synchronicity will lead you to the right times and the right alignment. So if you miss one, you don't have to think, oh, I shouldn't go and listen again. You can just allow your inner essence to guide you to it and relaxation, and calm, and peace. And just to share a little bit more about the inspiration of this project, I have recently been introduced to human design. Now, I mentioned it a couple of times on my main episodes with a couple of guests, and I am just beginning to learn about it, and this is a part of my learning. Because the human design, which, by the way, if you've never heard of it, you can go look it up, it is a combination of five different ancient teachings, ancient modalities, including the chakra system, the Kabbalah tree of life, astrology, the I Ching, and I, did I say, I think I said them all. I'm not looking at notes. I'm just, again, I'm not an expert in it, so I do not claim to be a teacher. I, I am a freshman student in the practice. And the way that I'm going to begin to understand it more is to live by what they call your authority, which is essentially your own guidance. And for me, in the human design system, my guidance is the moon. I am the most rare type called the reflector. And so the guidance system for me is best served as a, as a lunar being to pay attention to the lunar cycle. And so I have actually always done this innately, and I um, am just, and, and at other times I've, I do it consciously, and, but it, it, I, I, it isn't really necessary to get very litigious about it and to over hyper focus on it, what, what the time is, what it is that it says someone else charts about what this particular phase or subphase means. You can actually use it as a study where you do pay attention to that for a while and then let go and then just allow yourself to be going inside every single day in accordance with your personal lunar cycle and how you're responding. And so I'm deepening the study by putting some conscious ritualizing around it and then I'm going to be letting go again. Interestingly, though, as I sat down today after my morning meditation and I had the message actually I connected with Archangel Gabriel who oversees the moon. I, I had the, um, the message to do this project as a way to get into my understanding of how I am a reflector, just like the moon, reflecting, sampling other people's energies and auras. And if I have my intention to reflect back their highest good, then that is the opportunity. 
if I am in my higher alignment, my synchronicity. And so that's how I work. And that is very much relevant of my purpose that I've always experienced. And then, as I say, I came out of my meditation and I had this inspiration to do this 29 phase, this phasing in synchronicity. These words were wafting into from my subconscious, from my intuitive spiritual mind, from the conversation and the communion I had with Archangel Gabriel and moving into constructed words, coming in from the interpretation of spirit, phase, phasing in synchronicity, synchronism, the lunar phasing. And, and then I sat down in my studio to begin to record it and I thought, well, wherever I am starting, because it doesn't matter if you start to chart your chart with the global lunar cycle, it doesn't matter. You can start right now, even if it is a waxing crescent, you know, you can start. And so I went to look at my lunar calendar because I hadn't paid attention to it recently. As I said, I had, I had let go and I was working innately. And what do you know? Today is the new moon. And I really did not know that consciously. And here I am sitting down to do this with you all. So thank you for co-creating this. So the new moon is known for the time for intention setting. And that is the message here. And each day, as I say, we move through a new cycle, a, a sub-cycle within every 10 hours. And we move through cycles every eight, every two and a half days, a sub-cycle of the lunar calendar. And then, of course, the quadrant calendar as well. But in every moment, we are reborn. In every moment, we are setting intention, intention being both eventful and a journey. So you can have an event where you set an intention, but that intention comes to fruition by your constant gardening of it. And that is the journey of intention setting. And so this, this moment where we set intention, be it for this new moon or perhaps another hour or moment of your eternal nowness, you can utilize this energy. When something is true, it is true from all infinite perspectives. It is not subject to time and space. And your intention, your pure divine intention is the same. Specifically, as this is October of 2019, on the day of the new moon, this new moon is in Scorpio. And I'm not an astrologer, but we do know that Scorpio is a very um, introspective sign, this archetype. Scorpio is ruled by Pluto, and Pluto is the symbol of the god of the underworld. And so Scorpio and this new moon in Scorpio is very introspective, and to find the intention to set, it is an opportunity to reset and to go deep within. And that is what are the p the piece that I journaled directly after, perhaps like I say, co-created or channeled from directly Archangel Gabriel. Feels a bit like the latter. And interestingly, too, is as this is October 2019, the twenty seventh, we are actually in Mercury retrograde pre shadow. Mercury Mercury goes into retrograde um, on the thirty first on Halloween, <laughs> and. This time that we are in when it's Mercury retrograde is, is a time for reset, recharging, to go inside and to see how we're communicating both with ourselves and with others. So this alignment, this synchronicity is so layered that it's kind of mind boggling. So I thank you so much for the opportunity to share this with you and to co-create it. And now here is the piece that I journaled this morning. going deep within to find the core essence to the molten lava center where it burns with such intensity that everything and nothing exists here. This is where to start. This is your pure essence that in its intensity knows how the real, authentic seed of what you can create, what this is. Reset. Go into this essence. 
only when you connect with your depths of being, your genesis, only here, now, only here is where you start. And that's the end of what I had written. And so as it concerns setting your intention, the message here, the feeling essence is to go so deep within where there is your soul essence burning so brightly that you forget or disconnect from all of the outer essence, all of that which is suggested outside to go into the fresh place and then bring that energy out to connect, to co-create. Now we can allow that outside experience to be the thing that helps us to move within. I know Abraham Hicks, she always says that we use contrast to help us to sift and sort to know what we don't want so we can define what we do want. But going deep within is where you will be able to find the true authentic seed that you will create from. And so this is actually what this project is about too, is authenticity. Now some of these days, I may read you a piece from the journal, some days I may channel it live. And like I said, it may be off my phone or it may be on video. But in order for me to be truly authentic for 29 days, I'm going to hold space for myself to let that be as it will. My energy is such that some days being seen is not ideal because it is time for me to be within my own essence. And that's not necessarily true for everyone. Some people, it is very invigorating to connect in the seen world, in the heard world. And, and for others, it is necessary to go into your closet or into nature to reset. And that's the kind of energy being that I am. And so here I am, intending to be authentic. And I pray and intend that my authenticity upon the law of resonance and as a reflector is a reflection of your higher energy, your higher intention, your higher self and your authenticity, your, your true self. I hope to be a mirror for that to you not because of myself, but because of you, because of the beauty that you are as a divine creature. And that concludes this phase one, phasing in synchronicity. Thank you for listening. Thank you for tuning in to you. I love you, whoever you are. Thank you.